three news stories for you. Uh, firstly, viewers, uh, Ethiopian government has released some prisoners, uh, politicians, Kandanaga, Jawar, Bakle, Hamza, other. We were hoping that these uh, politicians who remained in prison for months uh, would be changed politicians, that they would rise above uh, ethnic politics. Today, Skandar Naga held his first press briefing, he along with his other uh, party uh, leaders. He said a few things which I want to talk about, viewers. For me, his first press briefing is uh, very disappointing. Secondly, viewers, uh, almost six months ago, Three workers of an aid agency were killed in Tigray. There is a video on that, I remember. Doctors Without Borders is the name of the organization's MSF. Today, this uh, NGO, INGO, has released a statement. Who killed the aid workers? There was presence of both forces, Tigray forces and ENDF, close to the area where the three uh, aid workers were killed. Medical uh, Doctor Without Borders, uh, Medics San Frontiers uh, today issued a detailed statement about the circumstances in which uh, the three aid workers were killed. Lastly, uh, a politician from Amhara region has released a statement uh, demanding the release of uh, journalists. Maiza Muhammad, uh, uh, then Tamrat Nagara, we'll talk about that too. Firstly, viewers, uh, Skandar Naga, Jawar, Bakle, uh, they were released on the 7th of January. Today, Skandar Naga held his first press briefing. We were hoping that uh, he would uh, uh, call for talks. He would call for an, an end to this war, Tigray conflict. He would propose something. But what did he say? He firstly uh, condemned the release of TPLF leaders, Sabbat Naga, Abevaldo, Gross, Gross. He condemned their release. Isn't it surprising, viewers, that he remained in prison too, but he is condemning the release of other TPLF members? Secondly, he did not call for any talks. Rather, what he said, uh, it seemed as if he wanted continuation of this war. That TPLF should be eliminated. It, 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 there was an impression from listening to what he was saying that he did not want an end to Tigray conflict. That's very disappointing. We saw a statement, I think two days ago, from Bakle Gerba and Jawar. They called for peace. They called for peaceful solution to all conflicts in, Am in Amhara, Tigray, Oromia, Biji, uh, everywhere. They said peace should be sought through negotiation stocks. Skandar Naga is not calling for talks. So what did he learn from his imprisonment? If you are not backing talks, uh, what are you going to do at uh, the forum of national dialogue? If you keep on repeating these things there as well, how uh, is national dialogue going to work? Very disappointing words. These released leaders, Skandar, though he his party is a small party, yet uh, no matter how small the party is, he can make a difference. He should have made a difference. Words. These released leaders must behave differently. They must rise above and beyond ethnic politics. If they once again preach ethnic-based uh, things, it means they have not learned any lessons so far. Secondly, words, uh, 
an aid agency uh, which was operating in Tigray and the three members of this aid agencies were killed in June last year in Tigray has released a statement. Doctors Without Borders is the name of this INGO. The INGO says that its three aid workers, uh, Maria uh, Hernandez, Johannes and Tedros, they were killed uh, near Abbey at the area in Tigray in June last year. And since then, the NGO has been in touch with both Ethiopian government forces and Tigray government. The NGO wants the names of perpetrators who killed the three aid workers. So far, NGO says that it has held several meetings. It has contacted both Tigray government and Ethiopian National Defense Force officials. So far, no one has informed the NGO about the perpetrators behind the killing of three aid workers of this NGO. The NGO says that uh, in June, on the 24th of June, the three uh, officials, Maria, Johannes and Tedros, they were traveling in a vehicle of uh, the NGO. They were heading uh, to the south of Adi, Abbe Adi area. And there, their vehicle was stopped and uh, they were shot, the three uh, workers. The NGO says that uh, the, uh, the nature of their shots, their wounds indicated they were not killed in cross-firing. It was very much clear that they were members of aid agency because their vehicle had uh, a logo of uh, MSF. They were wearing dresses of the NGO. So it's not that they were uh, killed by mistake. No, they were recognized as members of an NGO. Then their vehicle was also fired upon. NGO says that its aid workers were killed. They were murdered. But no one is telling the NGO about who killed the aid workers. Now, what I want to say viewers is that members of an international NGO were killed. No one knows who killed them. How would you know about the perpetrators who are killing civilians in Ethiopia? That is why we never know who is carrying out attacks on civilians, who is killing civilians. Victims become uh, perpetrators. Perpetrators become victims here. International NGO has been in touch with Ethiopian government, Tigray government for more than six months. It's saying no one is telling who killed its uh, aid workers. And they were killed. They, were, they did not die in, in, in cross firing. That is what's happening in Ethiopia. Lastly, viewers, uh, Dessalé Chene, who is uh, a politician from uh, Gojam, I think, uh, zone, he has released a statement. He is calling for the release of two imprisoned journalists, Maiza Muhammad and uh, Tamrat Nagra. Skandar Nagra also went to meet the two journalists. He met with Tamrat Nagra. He could not meet uh, Maiza Muhammad. A positive step, I would back uh, Dessalin Chane's call for the release of Maiza and uh, Tamrat Nagra. But why is that Skandar Nagra and Dessalin Chane are not calling for the release of any journalist who is not Amhara. Oromo journalists are also in prison. Why is that? Amhara politicians are not calling for the release. That is what I point out, which people don't like. I say, please rise above ethnicity-based politics. If you want your country to be united, rise above your ethnic loyalties, your ethnic uh, likes and dislikes. If you're calling for the release of Maiza and uh, 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 the other one, Tamrat Nagra, why can't you call for the release of Yaspit Tisfaye or others? Uh, 
there are some uh, Roma journalists in prison too. The Ethiopian politicians must learn that they should rise above ethnic politics if they want the country to remain united. Otherwise, the country will be uh, split into pieces. It will remain split into pieces uh, with just uh, semblance of a country. Thank you for watching.